Today we're going to talk about Oklahoma quarterback Spencer Rattler. And for those who have watched this channel before, yes, this is a new background for the reason I decided to film outside today by the lake. So anyways, back to Spencer Rattler. We've done several videos of him before. We've done the video of how Mike Woods is going to help him develop. We've done the video of is he the number one quarterback in 2021 for the 2022 NFL draft. So we have, we've had some pretty decent deep uh, dives on his film breakdown. But today I want to go into the film from Kansas State because it, it does a good job of showing a lot of things that he does well and then some of the things that he struggled with but improved on throughout the, the rest of the season. That was the second game of the season. He threw three interceptions and the rest of the season he only threw four and I think I think that was the nine game of the rest of the season only threw four interceptions and uh, obviously he's now one of the best quarterbacks coming back in 2021. So I wanted to look at some of the things he does really well. Uh, when he takes what the defense gives him and plays within himself, he does. He, he's a very good quarterback and that leads to a big play. Something that I've talked about before on this channel with other quarterbacks, uh, very natural, good thrower, strong arm, uh, great feel, good pocket awareness. When he plays within himself, he does very well. Uh, and you'll see the situation of football is what he struggled in kind of the beginning of the year. Kansas State, even some of the Texas game, uh, but something he developed and became pretty good at in, in situational football, knowing when to take it, when when not to throw certain balls, uh, depending on what's going on in the game. So we looked at a, a little bit of, of those, and uh, as far as it relates to the situational football, uh, just remember that he got better over the season. Uh, this just showed what he struggled with at the beginning, but I think it does a good job of showing what he's really good at and kind of how he continues to develop. So enough of me talking, we'll dive into the film. Uh, real quick, just want to encourage you to consider subscribing to this channel if you like any quarterback related content. It's fair game here. Okay, stop looking at my face. Let's dive into the actual film. Here's a touchdown for Rattler uh, slant that the DB's blitzing. We're going to watch the play real quick then break it down because it's an easy throw for Rattler. And if the defense slips up at all uh, against a quarterback like Rattler, he's going to make you pay. So this, this is what well, this is what separates Rattler from other quarterbacks is he doesn't need a lot of room. He doesn't need a, a big mistake by the defense to make you pay. He just needs a small one. Blitz, plenty of space there. DB playing way too off at the goal line. This guy can't get over here in time. This is easy money for Rattler, who will make this throw every time. So, yeah, it takes what the defense gives him. It's a good example of that. But it's also an example of if the defense is off just by a little bit, uh, Rattler's going to be able to make that play. Not every quarterback can do that time after time. Rat Rattler, of course, can and has the talent. Here's a nice, easy throw by Rattler, but again, the Kansas State defense is off here, and Rattler is going to make them pay 10 times out of 10 times with a play like that. Let's go ahead and rewind it just for a second so we can see what happened here. Backer gets caught right here. Oop, wrong button. Backer gets caught there. Wide open space there. Easy throw for Rattler. Um, taking what the defense gives him and, and kind of just exploiting whatever uh, the, the defense does wrong. He's able to find that. Something he does very well, right? Rides the play fake over the middle, big time play there. So here's a good long ball. It's going to be a stop route up here by the receiver, and Rattler does a good job throwing from the right hash to the left, left, side, left side of the field, showing his arm strength, but y'all probably get in the hang of it by now. He takes the defense, gives him off coverage. DB goes back, wide open there. Long throw, shows good arm strength. But I, like the, I like that he just took what the defense gave him, got 12, 13 yards right off the bat. Again, this is a tougher throw than it looks, but Rattler makes it look easy due to his talent and that natural, smooth arm delivery. Here's one of my favorite plays by Rattler. Let, let, let's watch it and break it down. That's a good touchdown. Eyes are downfield. Stays calm under pressure and throws a good ball. Uh, buying time with his legs still. Watch his eyes remain downfield. Throws it right when he breaks. Pressure's coming in. It's a touchdown there. Just a good example of why Rattler is so good. Calm, buys time in the pocket, and can throw from any angle, any armed arm slot. Boom, boom, pressure coming in, touchdown. So here's where Rattler is most dangerous with his legs. It's not when he takes off and runs, it's when he buys time, keeps his eyes downfield. Watch him throw a touchdown here. Good job there. Gets his feet set briefly, is able to throw a good ball rolling to his left. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center angle as well. Uh, good job being patient as well. Even though he does scramble, he does take what the defense gives him. Nothing there, nothing there. Eyes downfield, sees this guy. Touchdown, where he used his legs to buy time. Here's a great example of what makes Rattler such a special quarterback. It looks simple, but watch his ability to throw, kind of uh, moving to his right, 
good ball downfield, able to throw off balance. Let's watch it one more time. We're going to see the tight end come down here. Takes a step to the right. Throw into space here. Decent coverage here as he's coming here, but the pressure causes Rattler to have to throw off balance. Uh, very good throw. Makes it look easy and smooth for a big time play. So here we have Rattler who's going to be making a great throw on the run here. This is a design rollout. Taking what the defense gives him, playing within his game, and not trying to do too much. We'll go ahead and watch it here. He's throwing, he, he does a good job releasing the ball right as the receiver is breaking. The receiver is breaking right there. It got good space. The ball is out right now. We can see DB is a few yards off, so a good route by the receiver. DB does recover nicely, but a good ball for a first down there. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center angle. Uh, but again, another good example of doesn't look like a flashy big play, but it's a 10 to 12 yard gain. Ball is out towards the sideline. First down. Take what the defense gives you. Here's a touchdown by Rattler. Um, again, it's, it's going to demonstrate his ability to escape pressure, escape the pocket. Boom. Pressure comes in. Watch his eyes the whole time. Stays downfield. Stays downfield. He sees that Stoops guy falls. That is the guy he ends up throwing to. And, and notice he could probably take off and get a few yards here. Uh, but as opposed to using his legs to run, he uses his legs to buy time. Sees that the Kansas State, Kansas State defender falls. Ends up being a touchdown. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center angle as well. Uh, actually, I think it's the end zone angle here. Boom, nothing there. Eyes downfield. Probably not the most advised throw, but we'll take a touchdown. So here's one of the interceptions by Rattler we're going to see down here. Let's go ahead and watch it, and then we'll kind of break it down. But it's a good example of not taking what the defense gives you and kind of forcing it downfield and not kind of being on the same page with what the situation calls for. And again, I think with experience, and it, Rattler did show with experience that he got better and better, but we're going to see that the DB is playing about six or seven yards <clears throat> excuse me, off the ball. Um, so right there is going to be a tough throw. It's going to be a tough uh, route uh, to, to, to beat the, the DB there for a go route. And we're going to see Rattler throws anyways, but we're going to see the receiver comes wide open here. So just an example of, hey, we can take this and probably get a big play. Um, but instead we try to push it downfield. It ends up being an, an interception, and the situation right now doesn't call for the need to push it downfield. It's 14 to nothing against Kansas State. We can kind of march on the field, take what the defense gives us, but just an example of some stuff to clean up, which he did later in the year. So at this point in the game, OU is up 28-14. It was 28-7. Kansas State scored. Now it's 28-14. This is another example of just playing within the situation. Uh, this could have been an interception. It's a long, deep out here from the left hash. The DB is on perfect coverage. Eyes on Rattler. Rattler throws it right now. Look at how the positioning is. The DB's eyes are right on Rattler. The ball is thrown. Could have been a pick. Uh... Might have ended up being pass interference, actually. But regardless, it's not a throw we probably want to throw in this situation. So just another example there. So here's our third and eight. With about three minutes left in the game against Kansas State. They're down by three. Here's 38-35. And uh, just an example of throwing a, a, a ball that's not there when there are other options. So again, knowing the situation, we could have taken off and ran. There's an out open Um Kind of tough to judge here, I'm not going to lie, but still, it's just playing within the situation. Just an example here, and he did improve so much. So we're going to see, this is who he ends up throwing to right here, is coverage. He's got the arm strength to make this throw, potentially get a first down, or just take off and run, and maybe get a first down, but at least get close enough where you can go for it and fourth down. Ends up throwing, nothing there. So again, just playing within the, 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 the situation, and again, uh, it was... Only second game of the year and something he improved uh, on a lot throughout the year. Became one of the best quarterbacks in college football, but just an example here. So again, just a few clips. We saw his ability to throw on the run, just to buy time with his legs. Something he's very special at doing. His eyes remain downfield. He can fit balls in, in most tight spaces. And then we saw his ability to 
uh, hurt the defense if the defense slips up, even if a little bit, even if they're off the line of scrimmage by a little bit, even if they're not able to get over in time by a split second, he's going to make you pay. And then we saw his stuff to clean up on, which he did throughout the last season. Uh, but just situation of football, being aware of what's going on, being aware of when to take a sack, when not to take a sack, when to run, when not to run, and something he did a lot better throughout the year. And of course, it was his first year starting, so that's what you expect. But I expect even better improvements in 2021 uh, for Spencer Rattler. Again, one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football. Let me know your thoughts. Is he the best quarterback? How is he compared to other Big 12 quarterbacks? Uh, just leave a comment below, like the video, all that fun YouTube stuff. We'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related breakdown.